This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hey there, buddy! Now we get that lighthearted music again. The function of this school as an educational facility is very questionable. Why did, Why is every school in a visual novel, like, terrible at actually producing good students? I, except maybe the Clonade one. Our PE class is exceptionally disorganized. The only things we do together are the warm-ups at the start. The teacher isn't even there after that. All we do is play together. Oh boy, new outfits. New outfits means different art styles. Okay, ugh, they look kind of weird in the original art style here. Their uh, body proportions are definitely off. They look pretty good in the console version, though, I must admit. Definitely still prefer the remake, though. All the little kids were gallivanting about. I don't know why they can't wear normal shorts. You tell me. They might be getting plenty of exercise, but... The answer is probably fan service, but no thank you. And here, here are the other two. And yeah, their, their body proportions are still definitely off in the original one. It's weird how Rika in the other two art styles, like, is always just kind of, like, looking worried. But then in this art style, she's always smiling. It's interesting. Capture the flag! Mion harumphed and crossed her arms haughtily, surveying the area. Oh, dang, we're going explosives already. Um, that is just flat out not true. Mion, there's no I in team. But there is in me own. <laughs> I just, I just chose capture the flag because that's my favorite go-to outdoor game with a group of people. It was quite the adorable choice to make after playing it up so much. What is Satoko's problem? Zombie hide and seek, that's it. <laughs> Not sure if I've ever played that one. Um... No! <laughs> That's the stupid rule. <laughs> Everyone smirked at each other. They all seemed pretty confident. I'm a man. Physically, I should be able to keep up with any girls my own age. Regardless, Mion and Satoko looked like they were aiming for victory, and Rena was looking at me as if pitying my disadvantage. <laughs> Uh huh. My yell echoed across the school grounds. These were the rules. Anyone who had, was able to evade being tagged before the bell was a winner. But we didn't switch who was it. The ones who were tagged by it also became it. So the number of people who were it would increase exponentially. The end game would become a hellish siege. <laughs> Oh hey! We're playing well zombie tag, not zombie hide and seek, but Well it is a horror game, Rena. Rika-chan placed her hand on uh, Rena's head as she panicked. 
That's vaguely disturbing, Rika. <laughs> what the heck? Everyone is a lunatic. Both Mion and I nodded deeply. Maybe we could have a visual novel with normal people in it for a change. Uh, so that means you're never going to be the zombie. I have no idea which grade level they're coming from. Um, this is America and we speak American here. Huh? I was bewildered by the sudden question. Mion repeated it. だね。アルファベットの後ろから3つ目。X。X cut herself off before finishing the answer. I see, it's quite a lewd question. Um, no. I'm pretty sure she and Rika are no older than 12. Mion, I don't like you. If I didn't nip it in the bud, she really might have tried to take her home. Mion's pursuit was relentless, making Satoko stammer. I have a feeling she doesn't know. <laughs> All of us were a bit surprised by Rika chan's unexpected answer. I see. Well, it certainly is what that means. That could have been awkward. I wonder what it would have done what I would have done in Satoko's position. I'd probably get ticked off and just bored out you know what at the top of my lungs. I wouldn't want you as an enemy enemy Mion Sonozaki. Thank goodness you were born a girl. If you were a boy, you'd probably be a perverted asshole. Well, you can be a girl and be a perverted asshole, too. Wait, if I'm going back... Oh, I don't recognize that Japanese word, and I won't ask. Okay. Rawr. Seems like she's raring to go. <laughs> so, um, is this gonna turn into, like, a side-scrolling game where we have to escape her? That would be amazing. Everybody here... Well, no, that's not true. Everybody here is over 20, though. <laughs> Uh, how big is the cake in question? <laughs> Satoko grabbed a stick in a panic and began drawing a cake and fractions on the ground. Oh, Keiichi, you're evil. You're asking her math questions. Just as I finished giving the word problem, Mion shouted. On Mion's signal, everyone but Satoko scattered. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being discreet, DX. <laughs> Even if this is no longer family-friendly Twitch chat while I'm playing this game, Satoko had already lost the moment she were started working it out. She's eating it all, so of course there's nothing left on the plate. 
Everyone dashed off in a direction they thought was best. Knowing the lay of the land, they probably headed right to the best spots. It was obvious that I was at a disadvantage. At a time like this, it would have been more effective to go along with those trained in survival skills. Like Mion, for example. The fact that I didn't realize it at the start of the game probably hurt my chances. Glancing back over the school grounds, I just saw Satoko just rising up to start. She was really, really mad. <laughs> she got tripped up on stuff with such a dumb question! I stood at one of the corners of the school. I had clear side <laughs> sight lines in two directions, and would probably have a good response time if any zombies started closing in. Hide on the roof! For the time being, I caught my breath and focused on what I was trained to do uh, to think during club activities yesterday. Now think calmly, Keiichi Mabara. If I was it, what would I do? Increasing my numbers would be the shortcut to victory. Then going after the weakest player first is the obvious plan of attack. Meaning, me. But of course... What would be the best method to track me down? Footprints or smell, or maybe some type of trail? If I could craftily hide my tracks, then there would be no trail for Satoko to follow! But I was no detective. Would I even be able to do that kind of thing in an amateur game like this? Just run into the woods, use a tree branch, erase your tracks, boom. What the- What the heck? <laughs> Do zombies hunt their prey by asking nicely where they went? <laughs> Tomita-kun and Okamura-kun pointed to the location where I was hiding. You dirty rats! <laughs> After confirming she was headed in this direction, I abandoned my position. This is still not as good as Clonado laser tag, but what is? It wasn't easy to hide myself with all those little kids running around as they pleased. It was becoming even more obvious that I was at a disadvantage from not being familiar with these surroundings. If that's how it was going to be, then to confront this intelligence gathering zombie, I would just counter it in a similar vein. I approached some girls playing with a ball. I stopped the girls as they turned to run off. <laughs> wow, Keiichi, you jerk butt. <laughs> I am quite the schemer if I do say so myself. If things went well, then Satoko and Mion would run into each other at the gate. It would put me at a disadvantage if more people were it, but this was Mion we were talking about. She'd figure out a way to escape. But that was just fine. As long as it bought me more time. <laughs> Dance for me, Mion and Satoko. In the palm of my hand! Having to my fill of playing the con man, I looked for a place to hide. If you think about it logically, I'd only bought myself a scant amount of time. And it might even come back to bite me. Once it became apparent that I'd start spreading false information through the messengers, I could end up being the recipient of one of those messages. So Chuckle would probably ask the messengers to help her look for me. That would mean... there would be more zombies than participants in the game! The virus that was brought about by my mischief could cause an epidemic. All my classmates would transform into zombies, and would only be searching for me! This tactic... This tactic might backfire horribly. While trembling at the thought of the impending dawn of the dead, I began searching for a safe house. I found a shed by the incinerator behind the school. After climbing up to the roof, I held my breath. Yes! He's going on the roof like I told him to! It wasn't a bad place to hold out. Not only did I have a good line of sight, but if necessary, I could jump off in three different directions to escape. It was getting rowdy down there. The lower grades were running around below the shed. <laughs> that was definitely a lie. What if his dad actually was at the front gate? <laughs> As a cage you bought? Where are you? It's a family emergency. The word gate, the same one I'd used, gave a hint of revenge. So Mion was behind this. I was still keeping one step ahead of the game. I felt bad for my underclassmen, but they'd have to search, search until the school bell. <laughs> what if all of these are true? At least make the lies believable. 
Anything goes now. That is baseless. <laughs> what? Uh, no. Also, why would anyone do that? Who are they talking about? That holds zero appeal. No way I would do that! Don't fall for it! Keiichi, if you're stupid enough to fall for this boy. Gah! This was your doing, Mion! Calm down, Keiichi Maibara! This is Mion's battle tactic to flush me out. Just hold on. If my underclassmen thought about it logically, they would know it's all nonsense. But small kids don't think about things logically. To them, all of those things were true, so they all chuckled together while looking for me. <laughs> I win, Mion. It's my victory. <laughs> Wiping unrelenting tears away, I feel intoxicated by my own victory. <laughs> the cost of being Mion had too high of a price. Ah! Oh, someone passed below. That's Rena and Rika-chan. <laughs> Rena's out of breath, Rika's like, wimp, I'm still fine. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Mion! It couldn't be. She'd become it because of my little strategy? This confirmed that Mion was behind this relentless m message war. Then... This wasn't good. Upon hearing that, I breathed a sigh of relief. While Rena was slumped on the ground, breathing heavily, Rikachan had started creeping up to her. Rikachan doesn't normally make noise when she walks, but it's strange. It couldn't be. I had never seen Rika-chan smile so creepily before. She's smiling normally. Wasted opportunity to not give her an evil smile. Alright, Rika, that's enough of that. <laughs> Rena was pressed against the wall, and Rika-chan lurched forward with both arms out, just like a zombie. Rena quaked with her back ag up against the wall. It was a quite a surreal scene of horror. Like one of those zombie breakout videos you'd see. At that moment, Rena's eyes met mine. <laughs> zombie Rika-chan turned 180 degrees, exorcist style, and glared at me. Mion popped out from behind the cinder block wall around the garbage dump, also seeing where I was. My position was only advantageous when there was one zombie. Being surrounded was not as good! I could tell that Sakatoko was rushing my way. It seemed that Rika-chan had let Rena escape, and now she was burying her fangs in my direction. Rude! This is a conspiracy. You are literally just going out of your way to make me lose. <laughs> what was that voice, Mion? You're not a <laughs> you sounded like a dude there. All three zombies circled the shed, moaning curses. <laughs> You're getting a little too into the game, I think. Bro, it's a game. I saw Rena apologizing to me from across the schoolyard. An apology. Sorry. Leaving me for dead? Rena! I leapt off the roof out of fear, slipping as I landed. Satoko and Rika jumped on top of me, and after straddling me, they tickled me all over my body. <laughs> 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 
Should have been us being the last person standing. <laughs> Bruh, you sound demented. You're getting a little hammy. The feelings of a zombie. I understood how vengeful ghosts with lingering regrets felt. It felt like I'd been bitten by a vampire and was now one of the thralls. It was a strange feeling being welcomed over to their side that had pursued me. Okay, here's the plan. We find Rena. We pick up Rika and then like just hurl her like a bazooka on top of Rena. Boom, we win. To devour Rena, I, who had been turned into a demon of vengeance, needed to use any means necessary. Except I wasn't just a zombie. I was a master of the night. A vampire! Using the same trick that had tightened the noose around my own neck, I used my classmates to fervor my evil designs. I gathered up the lower grades from around the school grounds. <laughs> oh yeah, it had turned into that, hadn't it? Mion whistled nonchalantly, trying to avoid the blame. I was about to think, how young are these kids? But that was Satoko saying that. What are you uh, talking about? <laughs> the lower grades were dumbfounded, their eyes like saucers at the grand turn of events. <laughs> Watch Star Wars to find out. <laughs> Can we go back to the murder mystery? The lower grade students all gulped. It seemed I'd made them fully understand that the fight for Earth was lost without Rena. My comrades in the lower grades let out an enthusiastic cheer and dashed off in various directions around the school grounds. Hmm? There was still one person who hadn't gone. <laughs> what? What the heck? These kids are- their brains are jelly. Satisfied of that, she also rushed off to look for Rena. It does seem like there are some promising up-and-comers among the youngsters. I, it didn't really feel like she was complimenting me, but whatever. Rika-chan's words stun a bit, but I'd let that slide for now. Not even Rena would be able to escape the entire class. As a result of everyone's furrow search, Rena was eventually cornered in the back of the sports equipment shed. It was probably it was probably it probably was scary being chased around by the entire student body. All the lower grades closed in on Rena, saying that she was the only one who could save the world. I was hoping that when 
Renna was cornered, we would save her as like a rescue romance, but guess not. <laughs> Miona has the weirdest laughs. Rena had stumbled onto a mat, trembling with tears in her eyes. I closed in. Associating the situation with a similar, particularly immoral one made my pulse quicken just a little bit. Satoko and Riku Chan were both wriggling their fingers. Wiggling them. They probably wanted to tickle Rena. Rena, wanting no part of what she knew was about to happen, went stiff with fear. Rude. <laughs> Principal's like, it's class time! What is everyone doing in the shed? <laughs> like I said, she hardcore crushing on us. The face she made as she resigned herself to her fate made my heart skip a beat. Ugh, body won't move. That had to be some sort of anti-zombies mantra. The second my sense of reason chimed in, the beast inside me died instantly. There was the bell. Game over. <laughs> Rena pranced about merrily as if a curse had been broken. あと<笑> I was subdued by Satoko and Rika-chan, and once again sentenced to death by 100 tickles. Excuse me. What? Nobody bothered to tag her, just to make sure. Bruh, don't be that dumb. Ugh, make the screaming stop, please. Having had my fill of being terrified to my very core by club activities, I solemnly swore I would have Mion crying for mercy next time. Again, not a whole lot has happened plot-wise. I don't mind filler stuff when it's really entertaining, but... Eh. Again, Clonade laser tag, this is not. 